Hi, everybody. It's meteorologist Joe Chaffee on this Sunday as we take a look at the uh, weather for the rest of today, which looks really, uh, really nice across much of the Northeast and and um, down into the Mid-Atlantic states. And we are going to have several days of record high temperatures. And then after that, uh, maybe some rain and maybe the threat of a tropical depression or a tropical storm developing off the southeast coast of the United States. But before we get to that, just want to show you uh, this is the uh, GFS two meter temperatures going into uh, Monday and next week, Monday, to, I'm sorry, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of this coming week. And you're only going to see uh, the maps here for uh, six hour increments. So you really don't get to see the actual high temperatures, but it has every bit of middle 70s by two in the afternoon on Monday. And then when you have a night this time of year where temperatures can't get below 60, you know, you're shooting for 80 or better on Tuesday and 80 or better on Wednesday. I, I think some areas could easily reach uh, low 80s, maybe even 80 to 85. And, and you can see uh, there's even some middle 80s going middle middle 80s going down through interior Virginia and North Carolina, which this time of year is kind of tough to do. Uh, but uh, these would be records. And by the way, in some places, the bar is set kind of low. You have to look at how big a data set that they have. For example, uh, on Long Island, Islip uh, data set only goes back about 65 years or so, and the records are you f are, are in the seven, in the low to mid 70s. So it really doesn't take very much to take uh, temperatures up uh, to record highs in some places. So it, it's more impressive if we break records in places like New York City or Philadelphia, um, Washington D.C., where the record database goes back a long way. So let's show you what's going on for later this week because i think this is going to be very important i i don't want to sound uh as if i'm actually rooting for a tropical system obviously i'm not um rooting for a, a, a tropical depression or a tropical storm necessarily but i have to tell you that if we can get something to come out of the tropics that's reasonably you know moist uh and doesn't get too strong <clears throat> this could be beneficial with regard to the severe drought situation. And of course, we want something to also bypass North Carolina uh, because of the fact that <clears throat> they're still seeing their rivers rise. So it's kind of a delicate little uh, uh, line to follow here. But the models, and we've been saying this for a few days, conditions are favorable <clears throat> for tropical, uh, some kind of tropical system to develop in the Bahamas. Actually, the Hurricane Center is even recognizing that what we have is we take a look i'm going to go to the upper air and basically what we have is a situation where pressures are low in the tropics and that's being caused by the fact that we have this upper ridge which is actually now moved along you can see there's a little trough that's approaching there but this is the reflection of what's going on aloft in that we have a weak area of low pressure a broad area actually of low pressure lower pressures uh as we uh look aloft in the atmosphere and you know this is creating lower pressures at the surface and when we go to the surface map um you'll you'll see it pretty clearly uh the uh, situation with regards to uh pressures being low uh, oftentimes can cause tropical storm development and i and i can roll it back just a little bit uh, and you can see where the high is. Uh, we've got the high sitting off the Carolina coast uh, and extends back over into uh, Georgia and western South Carolina. But all through this area here, uh, all through uh, the Bahamas, uh, down through the eastern Gulf of Mexico and into the Caribbean, we have lower pressures than normal. And in fact, the model does actually reflect that by showing you know, low pressure in the Southern Caribbean and then a kind of a weakness in the Southern Bahamas. So I, I think at, at this point, it's going to be a question of what, what comes out of here and how it comes out and what happens uh, in the East. So let's uh, look at what the upper air pattern um, is, is going to be like. So we'll switch over to the Eastern U.S. and we'll put up now, this is going to vary from run to run. I have to tell you that I'm a little bit disappointed uh, in the fact that um, w w the models are not generating the kind of rainfalls that I would like to see across the Northeast, uh, given the drought. 
And, you know, part of the issue is going to be this trough. Does it phase or does it not phase? And on this uh, overnight run, it sort of did, but we don't really see a big reflection of the tropical system in here. So, you know, the model kind of wants to take it out a little bit further east. Uh, when we look at the European, and I'll just back it up with the European model. See, the European actually has the reflection here of the tropical system. So here we have the upper trough that's coming in, but here's the tropical system, so it has an unfazed look to it, which is not going to be conducive to bringing something up the East Coast. It would probably push it on out. And again, I want to emphasize that that <clears throat> um, this is uh, uh, this the uh, the reality is because of the drought, because rainfall deficits here in this area are running on the order of a foot to a foot and a half of rain now. Um, some rain is, you know, we got to get something up here. And if it requires, you know, if it means the tropical system's got to come up, tropical system uh, could uh, easily cut those rainfall deficits in half. But again, we don't want to see that go to North Carolina. And when we look at this trough setup, um, there would be some rain with the system coming in from the west, uh, probably, uh, but there would not be um, anything of uh, anything that that would be too serious i mean i know a little bit of rain is going to cause a problem but as long as there's an unfazed look here uh you're going to be uh in much better shape than you would if you had something phased now a look at the canadian model which is going really crazy with its idea of what wants to happen and you can see here uh the canadian actually has a well-developed tropical system that kind of bypasses the Carolinas to a large degree, but does bring a significant amount of rain to uh, northern areas of the mid-Atlantic and the northeast as it takes something just offshore. Now, you know, I don't even know how realist, real this is because this requires um, a very overdeveloped uh, upper air pattern, and you can see it here. I mean, it just really goes crazy with this. And I don't know how realistic this is at all when you have this big upper air storm that cuts off in the middle Mississippi Valley. I mean, if that were to happen, yeah, anything that would form down in the Bahamas would move up the East Coast. But the uh, <clears throat> is this a realistic view? Well, the other models don't have it. So I would say, you know, it's a bet against the, the we know the reputation. We know the reputation that the Canadian model has for. Um, spinning up just about everything in its path, and that's what it, it probably is. You know, it's definitely guilty of that uh, on this particular run. I'll just widen out a little bit, and you can take a look. And we'll go to the um, probably the North Atlantic view will give us the best view of this. And, and you can see it there. I mean, that's a huge upper low, upper air system that comes along. So you know, again. The, the, uh, this is the only model that's doing it, so for now, we're going to leave that as the unrealistic solution. So for the time being, let's just go forward with this, and um, let's see what happens. You know what? I'll just pull up real fast. Let's pull up a, a satellite view, um, see if, what's going on, because the Hurricane Center <clears throat> is indicating for the first time, acknowledging this weather system here, you know, they're calling for a 20% chance of uh, tropical storm development in the next five days. Um, I would, you know, uh, I would probably guess that that number is going to go up over time. So uh, we'll see. And, of course, Nicole is still out there in the Atlantic, by the way. But I'll give you, we'll look at the Western Atlantic view. And as soon as it loads. And you can already see there is disturbed weather that's formed already in the Bahamas and that extends down into the Caribbean. So somewhere in here, we're going to see some sort of tropical system um, that's going to uh, develop over the next several days. So don't forget to check out the latest weather on meteorologistjoechoppy.com, weatherlongisland.com, nycweathernow.com, and of course, there's SS Storm Chasers. Uh, they did a really terrific job with regards to uh, bringing back some uh, you know, uh, pictures and videos uh, from the Carolinas, and, um, you know, if there's something that's going to impact somewhere, they will be there. Have a great Sunday, and enjoy the record high temperatures that are coming for next week, as long as they last.